This week's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning everybody. It's uh, day four I think and uh, the weather is quite a bit different today than yesterday. It was quite windy and uh, gloomy and stormy but today it's just absolutely spectacular. So I'm just standing out on my balcony looking at the, the scene here and we've got these massive mountains uh, surrounded in ice and then there's a few people getting set to uh, do some kayaking. And we're just gonna head out in the Zodiacs for an hour or two, just kind of cruise around. And then uh, we're going to do a landing. And from there we'll, I think there's a, a colony of penguins here. I'm not sure. I, I think I could smell them earlier, so I'm pretty sure there is. What a glorious day though. Actually there's a little uh, sailboat out there as well. So Alan, what do you what do you think of uh, what's this place called? Wales is it Wales? Wh Wales. Really, really lovely. Um, I'm very impressed. I think Wales is probably the best place I've ever visited. It smells a bit though, doesn't it? Yeah, I think they call it Wales because of these these whale bones here. Yeah, so right behind me here, there's a bunch of whale bones that are quite impressive except the kayakers keep getting in way of our compositions. Yeah, I don't think they understand photographers' needs. We need, uh, need to do something about that. Did you get any shots of the mink whale? Minky I whale? I did. I got some nice... I think I got some slow-mo footage and I got a few shots. But they, they get away so quick. So we've seen some minky whale and then yesterday whole big pod of orca whales and you also humpbacks. saw hum humpback whales. So yeah. it's been pretty good so far, right? It's been crazy. Like. It's non-stop wildlife. I thought it'd be like the odd sighting of whales, but every day there's been multiple sightings of whales, penguins, seals, birds, albatross. Monkey. Yeah. See monkey. <laughs> <laughs> there's one monkey right here. <laughs>
Oh look, I have a, a little friend down here. <laughs> so, I, I can't remember the name of this uh, area. I'll leave a, a name up on the up on the screen here. But uh, as you can see, it's it's really quite remarkable. The uh, what's really quite striking is the size of the peaks here, because we're at sea level, and the peaks are I think they're around. I'm guessing probably around 3,000 meters, perhaps. Uh, they're they're very striking and they're quite steep. So. Uh, you know, with the icebergs and the penguins and uh, all of the ice, it uh, it really is quite something. So, what I've been photographing is uh, the hut because that's really quite striking, set against the uh, the mountain there, and I've taken it at all different angles. Uh, the biggest problem when I first got here was there was a lot of people mingling around it, so kind of had to wait for them to to move away and go to other spots. And over there, there's uh, somewhat of a bay, and there's a whole bunch of icebergs in there, that, which are quite neat. And uh, so I was able to get the rocks and penguins in the in the foreground. And then up on the hill there, there's another rookery, but I didn't go too far in there because um, you know you don't want to just disturb the birds nesting in there. Uh, it's funny. Pretty much all afternoon I've just been taking um, uh, panos, I've been right into pano mode. And earlier, I didn't take any video, but earlier we came through a really narrow gap down through those mountains there, and it was just absolutely spectacular. It was really quite surreal. So I'll, I'll put those images up now as well as the, as well as the ones from this area here. Uh, just over here is um, James doing a bit of vlogging, I think. And then Nigel, I'm not sure where Nigel is. Last time I saw him, he was over there. And then Alan, I'm not sure where he's gone. He just kind of disappeared. <laughs> It might appear to be self-indulgent or perhaps selfish to take such a trip to take photographs in Antarctica. Perhaps it is. Um, before I left for Antarctica, I received a few texts and emails from people stating that it was irresponsible of me and I should think about my carbon footprint resulting from such a trip. And it's true, I can't argue with any of those sentiments. Of course, I can justify them. I can justify just about anything that I do. And I think we all do to some degree. I will say though that no matter what we do, our actions will always have a negative consequence on our surroundings and ultimately the environment. In some ways, I could also argue that one of the reasons we have so many environmental issues throughout the world is that many people are so disconnected from nature, why would they have an urgency in protecting it? I believe that such a disconnect is one of the primary reasons why we have so many environmental problems today. The only way to understand what we are losing is by observing it and gaining an appreciation for it. And yes, that will include traveling to those locations.
Once again, I'd like to thank Squarespace for supporting my channel and sponsoring this week's video. One of my favorite features of a Squarespace website is the ability to quickly and efficiently update a gallery or page either from a desktop computer or while on the fly using the Squarespace app from my mobile device. Loading multiple images onto a page is quick and offers the ability to change a design or page quickly and elegantly without any coding knowledge. Want to sell your products? No problem. Setting up shop is also quick and intuitive. Sound interesting? Why not head over to squarespace.com and try it for free. And if you like what you find, use the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase. As far as photography goes, I think my favorite subjects were the icebergs. I just love the rich deep blues that ice has to offer, especially when the iceberg has recently flipped. In terms of light, I much preferred the more subdued light of overcast conditions, especially when we had dark clouds brooding in the background. It was just such a lovely contrast. The blues just seemed to pop under cloudy conditions. So to end this week's video, I'd like to share a selection of iceberg images that I consider to be some of my favorites from the trip. Once again, thank you ever so much for watching and until next week, bye bye.